Hi there. Today's video topic is how to send an email from a Microsoft 365 group shared mailbox in Power Automate. Power Automate by default is going to send any email from the account that is running the Exchange connection in your flow. So if you have a Power Automate flow that is running under your account, it's going to come from you. You can change this to send as any shared mailbox as long as you have permission on the shared mailbox. And that's the trick here is that um, by default, nobody has send as permissions for these group mailboxes. We have to go in and set that. So the, the field that you use in Power Automate is this send as field, which is under advanced. So if you open up the send an email v2 action, go to advanced here, the, um, the send as field, you can put a, a mailbox in here, any mailbox, can be a group mailbox. Um, the, if you don't have permission to send as that mailbox, your flow is going to fail when it runs. So we need to set that. And the thing with this permission change is that it requires you to be an exchange administrator to do. And that's not something that just anybody is going to have typically. So you might have to talk to IT about this if you don't have permission to do that. However, it's a very quick and easy thing to change. So I'm going to show you where to do it. So to do this, you're going to go to the admin panel in Microsoft 365. So the app launcher and then admin. And then open up the exchange admin center. So for me, it's under show all here. And then I go to exchange. And in here, under recipients, there's some options for mailboxes, groups, resources. We're going to want groups because we're working with a Microsoft 365 group mailbox. And the group mailboxes in here, if you open them up, so the in my example, I'm using this IT help desk mailbox. And then go to the settings tab. At the very bottom here, there's a section that is labeled manage delegates. And that's going to be what we want to use. So if you click on edit under manage delegates, you have the option to add a delegate and you get to choose between send as and send on behalf. Uh, send as makes it look literally like you are sending as the mailbox. So it'll have the mailbox name as the sender. The on behalf of will say so and so on behalf of the shared mailbox. So I like to use send as, but it's really personal preference. Um, so just add in the name of the account that is running that connection. So the exchange connection, the one that's sending the email, usually all of the connections are run with the same account. In Power Automate, usually a service account is the best way to go with this. Um, if you're not familiar with service accounts, by the way, they're just a, an account that has a license that is designated as the account to run flows in this case. You would use this instead of a specific user because people come and go from an organization and you don't want flows to stop running when people leave. So I already added myself on here. I mean, I can let's see if I even show up when I, <laughs> since I'm already on the list, I can't search for myself, but you just type in the name, click on it, add it. And then you can change whether it's send as or send on behalf of for the permission type and then click on save. So when I did this, it didn't work right away. So I don't know if it takes a little bit of time or what, but give, give it a little while, I guess is what I'm getting at. And then um, it should just work. Um, so that if you go back to your flow, put the mailbox in here, run it, and it should come from that mailbox. And here's what it looks like. Here's an example. So you can see that this email came from IT help desk and the flow is owned by me, but the email is coming from this mailbox. So this is convenient because it automatically sets the reply to. So if you reply to this, it'll go to the, the shared mailbox and it kind of keeps everything together and coherent. And it's also kind of more professional looking. So it's my preferred mechanism for sending emails as part of organizational flows. So and that is everything. Thank you for watching.